Hi, Benjamin. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing, Monica? I'm doing really great. Thank you so much for talking with us today. You know, the first thing I wanted to ask you was, you've been a serious regular for a little bit. Did you ever think you'd be walking in Dante Torres' shoes for this long? Oh my God, not really. I mean, you know, when it started, it was supposed to be a guest star. And um, so, yeah, I thought it was just that one episode, maybe two and done. And and then, you know, Jason and I got to talking after that episode and he kind of unofficially invited me. And I was like, okay, let's see what that really means. And and now two years later, two seasons later, here I am. So <laughs> I maybe I didn't think about it, you know, but I did know that this was a character that was that I was meant to play. It was so, I mean, I read him and I said, I know everything about him. You know, there was no, you know, there was no doubt that that I was meant to play him. And I, I that was a big part of why I decided to to come into it. That's amazing. And then how would you compare Dante's journey in this season to like the previous season? I think he's growing and in, in on the on the job and and trying to fight his own demons and his own, you know, cycles and triggers. And I think in a way, maybe he's getting better at it. But at the same time, I think he's realizing that this takes a long, longer than he thought it would, you know, because as soon as he thinks he's OK, he finds himself triggered again in situations where he needs to maybe, you know, take a more gentle, you know, path. And he takes a little bit more of you know, his instincts, you know, which can be really good and really useful and at the same time, really destructive. Yeah, absolutely. And then Dante is still working kind of undercover in Perez's body shop. So does it ever feel like you're playing two different characters? Uh, yeah, I mean, well, it, it always, at this point, it feels like I'm playing a different character because I am Torres, right? So, so Torres is already kind of ingrained in me. So it's just about me focusing on on playing Eddie, right? And not being too much of a cop and, you know, trying to, you know, blend in the different, you know, phases of, of him, you know, like like when he grew up in the hood and he grew up with those people, just trying to like incorporate more of that into his world. And then speaking about like incorporating things, do you ever incorporate your own personality or your own culture into this character? Is there any of you in there? Yeah, yeah, there is. There is absolutely. You know, they come up in moments. How can I make this scene more personal to me or this moment or this character or these co these conversations? And they've been really open with me to be able to trust me in, in some sort of dialogue and in some sort of situation to add a little bit more of, of myself or my Latin roots to the character, which is why I think it's worked because they have been able to 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 trust, you know, my voice a little bit as well. Right. Because it feels real. It feels right. like like yeah. relatable. Like I've seen this before. I know this person. Yes, yes. Uh, there's a lot of drama going on around with your character. Obviously, uh, Perez suspects Taurus was part of a robbery and now is holding out on him or some cash. How tense was it to be filming these scenes? Oh my God, this this episode particularly was really tense for me. I I went into places in my life that I truly, truly, I really felt like I accessed completely and and it was a roller coaster you know to points where I would tell you know my director Chad I don't know how many more of these takes I can do because I feel like I'm gonna faint you know like oh my and, gosh yeah and and I, I like I love it you know I say it because I I, I kind of love living and feeling extremely I, I love that that's why I'm in this job so I get to just really feel everything. And so, yeah, it was a really fun and really, really challenging episode for me because I had to feel a lot. <laughs> yeah. And something I've heard before with other actors where they've said is that sometimes your brain doesn't know that you're acting. And so your body is like feeling like all of the things you're yeah, going through. Exactly. I, yeah. It was just, you know, yeah. It's like your your mind knows you're acting, but your body doesn't. And and 
it's very important to be aware that your body doesn't know because if you have I wish I could explain the scene, but it's you guys are gonna have to watch it. But it, there are scenes that are very strong in this episode that, you know, that it was important for me to remind myself my body doesn't know, you know, the difference. So take it, e take it easy on the body the next day, you know, or 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 have some moments in silence and and bring it back to 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 a peaceful state because it's in shock. You know. Absolutely. And I imagine that's one of the more challenging aspects of this role. What would be some of the more fun ones? Oh, my God. Getting to work with people like Yara, you know, and we had so much fun shooting this episode. And honestly, the entire cast was so fun. And I learned so much from 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 everyone. That was that's that's the fun part. Awesome. And then my last question that I have for you is um, because I found this so interesting that at 18, you made this big decision to pursue acting, which is very different from what you were doing before. What yeah. was it that sparked your interest in acting? It was, I was in a really tough place in my life and I, I did not know what to do. And I, I, it was out of pure desperation and a feeling of, you know, this can't just be it. My life can't just be this, whatever I was feeling and living in that moment. I needed adventure and I needed a challenge. And I thought, what is the most challenging thing that I can do? What 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 is it? And my mom, my mom said, I mean, I guess Hollywood, right? Like that's kind of like a, isn't that like a hard thing? Why don't you just go to LA? And I was like, what, what? Like, what do you mean? She's like, yeah, you just go to LA. You, you know, you pack your bags like Brad Pitt and you go to LA. And you just become an actor. And she said it like, why don't you just go, you know, toast a piece of bread? It was just like so easy. And but like you can do it. And I, I always grew up with that mentality that thanks to my mom that I could just do anything I decided I wanted to do. Not in an arrogant way, but truly just out of pure commitment, you can really just achieve anything. And and I thought, wow, that is a challenge. <laughs> like going to this thing and learning this like I decided I wanted to be an actor without knowing anything about acting I didn't even know there was a thing like acting class in fact I found out there were classes of acting when I went to LA and there were kids coming out of my hostel where I was staying at saying like we're gonna go to an acting class and I thought I should probably learn how to act if I'm gonna be an actor so it was truly truly the most spontaneous decision I ever made I actually just bought a one-way ticket and and I and my mom said to me, don't don't come back until you have it. And I didn't. For 10 years I didn't go back to Guatemala until well, my shout out to your mom then. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really go. it's really thanks to her. <laughs> well, that is awesome. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us. We really appreciate it. Congratulations on this season, and we can't wait to watch the rest. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a, enjoy. Have a good day. Thank you.